Alrighty, folks. Today's episode, we're getting out on the water and we're going after some fish to eat. Hopefully trying to get those crappies, but what actually ends up happening is we get into a mess of everything because it's fall feeding and it's time for everything to get on those shad. And one of my favorite baits to absolutely get meat is throwing a spoon this time of year. But what happened today, I wasn't really expecting on the crappie jigs. You know, really trying to get into the brush piles, trying to get after the wads of crappie, maybe to get in some hybrids or something like that. But we really got a variety of different species and well, we decided to put them in the box and just make a trio of aquatic fishes on the grill. So let's go catch some and let's put them in the golden crispy right, batter and make right some delicious fishes. Well mostly delicious. Filets and, and bass and Gatorade. All right, so we are not shallow right now, but we came to the first biggest uh, creek running down the river where we launched. And we kind of got out in the mouth of it where the water is a little deeper you know it's 30 foot right here and uh, there's not a whole lot of bait like right around the fish but there's a lot of bait in this creek area and we are going to deploy the bumping bug into the minutia here see what happens eh using an eighth ounce crappie jig right here on ah. come on eat it that's a good one got him that's a good one that's a big one Jerry that's a big one oh my gosh it's hung in the pile I got 12 pound I'm gonna get it out Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. I thought I had the three-pound crappie I've been looking for. Got a blue cat. I'm going to tell you what. This guy's going in the cooler because it's one of my favorite things to eat. <sighs> Just down there hanging with some crops. Mmm. Might have us a little smorgasbord catch and cook here today. Fall fishing, everything's getting out and eating shad uh, right there. That's that's a small blue cat, but man, I can tell you, they eat so, so good. We're going to throw him in the cooler along with the crappie. So right now we've got a nice slab crappie. It's probably about 13 and a half. And we got a blue cat. Two of my favorite, these are literally my two favorite freshwater things to eat, besides the walleye, which we don't, we don't get down here. I think most of those are cats, actually. Come on, that's crappie. Got him. Good one. Oh my gosh, it's a drum cherry. <laughs> oh, fall feeding. It's all going down. That could have just, just as easily been a bass too. A little drum. I gotta say, I've never eaten one of these. And I'm not gonna start today. We'll let him go. Just like a... a Redfish, right? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, let us know in the comments what, uh, what do those things taste like? Maybe I'm missing out. They just, they just don't look appetizing to me. Oh my gosh. All right. Got a little stump here. 
try to get a crappie off this stump. Get a few of these juicy bad boys. Bad boys and girls. Come on now. There you are. Got him. That is going to be a bass. Well, I thought I had me a crappie on a stump. Turns out to be a largemouth. Oh! Pretty good one. Pretty good one on a crappie pole. So that's uh, four, I think four species now. So I got Jerry from Guggen Squad with me, and he's actually sitting down in the console right now recording what I'm looking, looking at looking on the at, front but... graph. So the live scope, I'm sharing it to the back console. And usually if I see a stump like this, it's a big bass or big crappie house. Like there's not going to be that many fish on it, but there might be one big old crappie or one big old bass. Oh my gosh. And I've already had a couple of crappie bites, oh, like baby. they just kind of didn't get it. So I'm super excited right here to be looking at the screen. I've been trying to catch a three pound crappie for years and I'm seeing these fish come out and they look at it and they go back and I'm so amped. But what happens next is uh, pretty wild. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, this thing is fired up on it. Doesn't want to leave her stump. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come on, please, please, please. Please, please, please eat it right there, please. Please. Oh, this shit gets me pumped, bro. Big one. Is that a crappie, you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Judging by the way it, it ate the first time, and it just, it goes right up to it, noses it, doesn't eat, goes right back to the stump, keeps coming out, just curious, it's on it again. Oh, oh God, big one, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got her, got her, got her, got her, got her, dude. Got her, come on, baby. Come on. Come on, big one. Come on, big one. Let's dance. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's a drum. <laughs> I thought it was a three pound crappie. Oh no, it's a Gasper Goo. The Gasper Goo hanging on a stump, man. Wow. I thought that was gonna be my PB crappie, guys. That's about what a a big three pound crappie would look like, lengthwise. Pretty broad on the scope. Sitting on a stump, kept going right back to it. That's usually what a big female crappie does. But it's a Gasper goo. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one either. I think you should try it. Just try it. Just do like a trio cook off. Yeah. All right. All right, Jerry. That's what we're doing. I've never done this before, but we're gonna have we're gonna have a triple aquatic meal 
uh, my two favorites, the blue cat, the crappie, and then this. We're gonna cook them up side by side and we're gonna see what that's like. I mean, saltwater drum are good to eat, so. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong about this, but my gut says, uh, my gut says otherwise. Okay guys, we made it back from our trip, fishing in Central Texas. Three species in this bucket right now. We're going to try them all. The main thing everyone's going to be curious about, the freshwater drum. I have never had this. So, we'll save that one, I think, for last. This has become my favorite fish to eat in freshwater, and that is the blue cat. What I've discovered, the small ones are incredible. The, the ones that I've caught that are big, um, they get less desirable. The little ones are great. Like five to eight pounders even, amazing. Uh, but even little ones like this, two, three pounders are great. And then everybody knows. Everybody knows the tasty crappie it goes so good in the or a little, little cold pop. Fish songs, wah-bam. That's the freshwater crappie. That's a white crappie right there. And what's really cool about the fall is you get everything getting out in the same place as eating shad. I even had bass, you know, large mouth in these, in these same areas. All these things are eating the shad. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the fish. We're gonna separate the meats so we know which one is which but I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm gonna know. I know what blue cat looks like, I know what crappie looks like. I don't know what drum looks like, but I can deduce from there. And then we're gonna cook them the same way. We're gonna put them in the golden crispy batter, a shallow pan fry, the same way, and then we'll get our, our general taste of each one. These two over here, I know are gonna be good. Quick plug for you guys, if you are looking for a filet knife, if you wanna take advantage of a Black Friday deal that is really good, Old Timer has this, this uh, cordless lithium filet knife on sale right now. They also have their corded one, which you can get for under 30 bucks. It's a really good deal. Um, I like the, the lithium one because I don't have to deal with the cords. I got a plug right here, but especially at the, at the tree house, the other house, I was always searching for plugs, place to plug in. And of course, when you get out to your, your favorite fishing or hunting spot and you don't have all the luxuries of home stuff, it's, it's nice to have have the, the cordless. So I just keep this one in my truck. Comes in a nice little mesh bag. So it'll be linked down below, a little old timer. Mesh bag, open back, so keeps your blades dry, don't get moldy and stuff. There's Shad in the belly. Now those are gonna be nice. I've got a lot of things that I wanna build here at the new house, but one of the big ones is a dedicated fish cleaning station. I wanna build my own, or someone's out there that's got a really awesome one. I would like to adopt it. Little trick right there, by the way. Those catfish skins come right off uh, with the electric fillet knife as well. Um, you need some, some pliers. Pliers are kind of a pain. If you have fish skin pliers, like catfish pliers, those are fantastic. But uh, if, if you are in a pinch, you can use a bottle cap. Your fingernails, if you got really gnarly fingernails, it probably work, but uh, I don't. But the bottle cap works really nice. And look at the look at the fillets. With that electric fillet knife. Makes it quick and easy. So we, we definitely know what the catfish looks like. We definitely know what the crappie looks like. I'm curious to know what this drum looks like. So bottle cap our last kitty cat here. 
Then we'll get after the drum. Just like that. Easy peasy. Nothing wasted. Just the skin there. Oh, by the way, what's really gonna be fun, this has been like one of my, my dreams, is I'm gonna take the fish scraps. I normally, I, I've you know taken them down to the nearby lake we used to live at, but I like recycling the fish, you know, and, and I'd love to have a dock one day where I just throw them off and feed the catfish, but I got catfish in this pond back here. So I'm gonna take the scraps, throw them in the pond and, and feed the catfish. They're so small right now, this should have them, this would be like their Thanksgiving. So a freshwater drum. What's this gonna be like? Let's see what it looks like. I hope it doesn't have worms. actually looks pretty white. Okay, that's not terrible. I would put it at like a mix between white bass and a large mouth, maybe? We're in the new kitchen and we have our three sets of fillets laid out. Crappie looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to eat that. The blue cat, that little tender cut, mm, that's gonna be phenomenal. The drum, I'm gonna be honest, just by flopping it around in the hands, doesn't have that real soft texture. It almost kind of feels like a like a paper flag or something. It's just tougher. It just, I already know it's, it's mm. I'm gonna lightly dust these with the golden crispy batter in a bowl. Well, bam. And then we will cook these the exact same way. Let's head out to the grill and fire it up. First up is the crappie. Gorgeous looking fillets. This is gonna be nice. Couple minutes each side. We'll take those off and then we'll move on. It's my owl buddy. Keeps the other birds, birds away, pooping on the furniture. It's kind of easy to tell, you know, I guess I fish a lot, but it's pretty easy to tell the differences in the in the fillets. It's important to just really watch fish because it cooks very fast. Brown on one side. We have no sticking whatsoever. There we go. First up, you know what it is. It's the crappie. We'll give this little piece a go. Ah. Batter has a nice little zest on it. Good crunch. I'm really getting the most fish flavor by doing this because I'm not deep frying it. I didn't put a huge coat 
of, of batter on this, so I'm really, I'm really able to taste the fish, and of course this one is, is good. I could eat a lot more of those. Okay, next up is the drum. I don't like the way it looks, but we're gonna see. This may not be the best way to cook fish, because the crappie, light flaky, um, kinda got a little tough on the outside, these things, this little squunch, SpongeBob looking character right here, these things are tough. I can already tell you, they're tough. I'm gonna take one piece, I'm gonna set it to the side, see what happens when I open it. Oh god, that is hot. It might be done. Oh my gosh. It can't even flake apart. Oh no. This is a rubber fish. Look at the rebound. That is not gonna be good. Ah. Oh, I've been down this road before. I don't like it. Okay, this sucks. This really sucks. The drum, I'm, I'm deeming it an absolute inedible option right now. No, it's so chewy. It's so chewy. What the heck? You could bounce that thing off concrete. Maybe it's the way I'm cooking right now, I don't know. Here's the way to find out. We're gonna throw the catfish in here. If the catfish is good, then we know that the drum really sucks. I'm telling you, small blue cat, it's my favorite. It's the best. The drum, I'm, guys, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna, I, I tried chewing it, it won't break apart. I, it's like jerky, like I really have to rip it. That's not, that's not a fish I want to eat. I'm gonna say that that's terrible. That I put that on the lines, not as bad, but on the lines of the smallmouth buffalo. That being a fish for eating, garbage. I'm gonna go ahead and make a prediction just on visuals. Blue cat's gonna blow everything away. It's gonna blow everything away. Has more fats in it. It just. It's gonna flake. It's gonna flake. Cooking it, same method. There's something that, the crappie, I don't think this is the best way to cook crappie. Kind of dry like this. With catfish and trout, I think it works because there's just some fats in there. I don't know, every fish is different. If you think you could just put all a bunch of fish of different species into like batter and fry them and they're all gonna taste the same, I don't think that's necessarily the case. There's a lot of of different texture and fatty fattiness differences and it's got a nice little like brown crust on the tops looks beautiful here we go this is it first piece just came off about a minute ago let's get a let's get a break apart oh man that is so hot but the catfish Pure white, just glowing white meat on the inside. Looks incredible. Nice, just a light dusting of the golden crispy and perfectly browned in the pan. <laughs> it's gonna blow everything away, I can already tell you. The small blue cat is, it is the best. It is the best in fresh water besides the walleye. My opinion, but Give it a shot, don't sleep on it. You get a little bit of taste of the skin, kind of like you're eating um, the dark meat of a chicken. It's kind of like that. But if that stuff doesn't bother you, the, the texture, the flavor, man, this just rocks. The drum sucks. The drum plays, I'm throwing in the pond to feed to the fish. I'm glad I could end on this one. Cleanse my palate with a delicious catfish. I enjoyed it. 
better than the crappie. Well, fishing freaks, in conclusion, next time you go out there and catch a drum, enjoy the fight, maybe give it a sniff. But if I were you, I wouldn't be taking it home and eating it. And that is all for today's fishing adventure. Smash the like button for trying something new. And I'm gonna be hitting the road again. I got something interesting I think uh, you guys might enjoy. Uh, heading out to go fish with a country music artist. Country music, bass fishing, hunting, and like peas and carrots, mashed potatoes. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. God bless you, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I don't know what this is about. Hang on, let me feed my ducks. They know, they know what's up. Here you go. Get you some of that. Well, bam.